Hi everyone, in this short video, we'll discuss about running total calculation. So let's first track one dimension, customer name in the rows area, sales as values, and let's sort this in descending order. So let's click on this icon, and you can see this is sorted in descending order. Now, I don't want to show sales, let's say, uh, I want to show percentage of sales or, or running total. Okay, so to perform, you can see the total of my Sean Miller is 25,000 and Tamara is 19,000, Raymond is 15,000. Correct. What we do, let's first, let's first do one thing. Let's click on show me and create horizontal bar chart. Enter visual in the form of bar chart but this is again shorted by customer name in A to Z order. First, let's click on this icon and switch our rows into column because we want to create a vertical bar chart. Perfect. And then let's short this in descending order because Maxim Shields belongs to Sean Miller. Now, this is sum of sales in my rows. You can see we have sum of sales. My Y axis belongs to sum of sales and then in my X axis, we have all the customers. The sales from Sean Miller is 25,000 and sales from Tamara is 19,000 and my total sales is 2.2 million. So 25,000 plus 19,000 will become 39,000. Correct. Right. Not 39, sorry, 44,000. And I want to see how much is the share of top two in my total or how much is the share of top three in my total or how much is the share of top four in my total. That means we have to compute first running total or cumulative. Okay. So to change your axis, which is sum of sales into running total or cumulative, click on this drop down of sum of sales, go to quick table calculations. And here we have an option. We can perform running total. We can perform differences. We can perform percentage difference. See, difference will take make sense if your one axis, let's say, is in a date and you have computed uh, quarterly sales and you want to see the difference in Q2 by Q1 or Q1 of this year with Q1 of previous year. Okay, so those kind of analysis you want to perform, we can perform. Right now, we took an example of, uh, we picked the example of running total. So let's click on, left click on running total. Now here, if you check, the sales of Sean Miller is 25,000, which is fine. But with on Tamara, instead of sales of Tamara, this is running total. That means sales of Sean Miller, 25,000 plus sales of Tamara. And then the running total is 44,000. And then top three, sales of Sean, Tamara and Raymond. Top four, top five, top six. This is how we have computed running total. In our tooltip, this is showing only customer name and running uh, sum of sales in this tooltip box, right? If you want to show also the sales of each customer, what we can do, we can track our sales over tooltip. So when I track my sales over tooltip, and now when I hover here, you can see the sales of Sanjeet, the running total, and the customer name. Three things you can see here. So guys, in any visual, if you want to show tooltip, you can show the tooltip also. Okay, so this is one thing we have uh, covered here. Now. If you want to convert your this axis into percentage, let's say you have computed running sales and uh, running total and you want to compute now running total in percentage. First, this value was sales. Now you can see one delta icon here. This is saying that we have applied one calculation. That calculation is running total. Now I want to calculate percentage of running total. So that means I want to apply one more calculation here. So to perform that, click on this drop down, go to edit table calculation left click on this and then you can see my one first calculation is running total add secondary calculation and the secondary calculation which i want to add is not difference from its percentage of total so first my axis is sales on sales i'm performing running total and then percentage of total is obviously percentage of running total and you can see here my this axis is in percentage and now we have computed percentage of running total when you hover on each customer you can see this is 1.09 percent on my total sales the sales of sean miller is 1.09 percent on my total sale which is 2.2 million this is uh, 1.92 percent of my total sale this is 
2.5 percent of my total sales and this is 3.2 percent of my total sales so from the top four customer the share of top four customer is 3.2 percent in my total sales and how many number of customers we have we have 793 customers in our data set so this is how we can perform running total calculation also and in this example we have discussed about running total and then secondary calculation everyone which is percentage of running total hope you enjoyed this video and in our next video, we'll discuss about again calculations. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day.